Now that we've done our positioning search and exported it, it's time to bring it into the visual pricing system and let a couple of extra pattern graphs that we call the pawns be automatically made. So let's go ahead and jump into exactly how to do that and where those controls are. So now that we've done the search, we're going to go ahead and upload our positioning information into the visual price system. In order to do that, we're not going to go back to start here. What we're going to go is to this icon here that says Upload POS or Positioning Data. Click on that button. We're going to go ahead and find out where we saved that. In this case, it was on my desktop. And you can see there's a couple other things there. And the program now loads this in. Now, when this pops up, this time we're not looking at a subdivision area because we searched a wider area for a price range. So what I recommend is typing in your price range just like this so that that will show up on the top of the graphs when we go into the positioning in general. And now that is already loaded in and we're going to navigate over here to the positioning area. I want to show you first the things that are created automatically for you. In this case we can see the pond which really shows the activity in the last six months or last 90 days, pardon me of how many homes have come in for sale, how many are under contract, how many have closed, and how many are kind of sitting they are still available for sale. Now this is a cool graph to be able to show how the real estate market's going and you can show the relation between supply and demand, but the real value comes when you take it to the next step and look at the projected pond. You notice I'm just using the tabs down here to navigate between these two. And the projected pond predicts the next 90 days of what's going to be happening in that area. For example, this is the activity in the 400,000 to 450,000 range in Fort Collins, and it's predicting that 58 homes are going to be sold. Now what that means though is there's 58 homes that are sold, there are 16 that are currently under contract, meaning that there's 42 new sales that should theoretically be able to be introduced into the market and be able to be sold. Now this is projecting that 41 new homes are going to be coming in, and eight of the properties that are available for sale down here, that's 49 total. So the thing about this is you can see very clearly there's going to be some homes that don't sell in the next 90 days that remain for sale. So this is a very good image to be able to show your customers why you don't want to just guess higher versus what actually is competitive because worst case scenario will sit for the next 90 days and then sell. In this case, you can see you might be a property that won't sell. So it's a great way to, to help your customers kind of get a good feeling for the market uh, and see that you know we want to make sure we're pricing competitively and pricing and positioning to win. Now talking about positioning to win, we're going to go to the next video on how to create the positioning scattergram.